Hi, Gateway. Pastor Jen here. I wanted to talk to you for a moment about family worship. As I'm sure you know by now, we are very close to opening our doors and resuming in-person worship. However, we are not able to have Kids Church for the foreseeable future. But just because we don't have Kids Church does not mean that the building is closed to kids. Kids are and always have been a vital and important part of the body of Christ, and that continues to be truer than ever today. So I wanted to share with you a few tips about making the transition into family worship. The first one being to make sure that you give your kids a heads up. Talk to them about what church will look like when you return. When you come in, they'll stay with you. An usher, a member of our lead team will help you find your seat. There'll be worship, there will be announcements, and then a sermon. And you'll want to let them know to expect that ahead of time. The second thing is to explain your expectations. What do they need to do if they need to go to the bathroom? What, um, what do you expect them to do during the sermon and during the service? Let them know ahead of time. Kids respond really well to clear boundaries if we let them know up front. The third thing is I encourage you to have them join you in worship. Even if they don't sing, just asking them to stand next to you and absorb the experience of corporate worship has huge benefits. So ask them to join you in that. They do it in kids' church. I know they can do it in the adult service as well. The fourth thing is give them something to do during the sermon. When you come in the doors, you'll notice that there will be sermon outlines available for kids to use and some coloring sheets. We want you to take advantage of that. But you may have something from home that would also work that would help them to engage while they're listening to the sermon. Another option we wanted to offer was that we are totally and completely fine with you bringing your kids tablets or devices and headphones to put on. Our Gateway Kids online content will continue to be updated weekly. And when the sermon starts, we would love for them to put on their headphones and watch their online kids services. That is totally and completely fine. So we wanted to offer that as an option. Finally, debrief afterwards. Talk about what the sermon was about, any questions your kids might have had, things that stood out to you or things that stood out to them. You know, as parents, a lot of times we feel ill-equipped to disciple our kids. But it's the simple conversations like that that plant seeds and disciple our kids. So I encourage you to do that. You know, family worship, it's, it's going to be an adjustment. And it's going to take a lot of grace that we will be extending to one another from the youngest to the oldest. But I believe that God has big things for us to experience through this time. The Holy Spirit knows no boundaries, and that includes age. So let God work through your kid's heart just as He's working through your own heart during this season. And I look forward to worshiping with you soon.